Well, today presents a significant challenge to Theresa May and her government. It is the day when members of the UK Parliament will vote on her deal for the UK to leave the European Union. It follows a failed attempt in January when MPs rejected her deal then by a significant majority, including members from her Conservative governing party that revolted. Uh, the main issues that remain, though, are over trade, but there is this contentious issue of the Irish backstop. That's between the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Many believe that that should remain open. She took it back to Brussels last night and got it in there just in time, she believes, for a policy, a term to remain in place, that the border can remain open, However, that cannot be a permanent feature for the UK's withdrawal from the European Union in the event the deal is accepted tonight by MPs. Nevertheless, the public remain very passionate over this issue, both on the Remain and the Leave side. Brexit! And what if it's a hard Brexit? Great! That's, that's right, what that's we want! want. Yeah. That's what everybody voted <laughs> for! Leave Brexit! Yeah. Out we are out, we are out, out. out. 29th of March, we are out. Personally, for me, ever since the first referendum, I thought we needed to just ask people, are you sure? So you can call it whatever you want to, but I do think with such a massive change, um, which is not at all what was promised in, in the referendum, I think we should just ask people, are you sure this is what you want to do? Well, there you have it, some very passionate voices there. We won't, of course, find out the outcome of the vote until an estimated time of around 7 or 8 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time tonight. That's when the MPs will vote on the deal, a deal that could change Britain and the European Union's landscape ahead. But in the event that deal is not accepted, MPs are scheduled to return tomorrow, well, they will have to take that decision as to whether or not they believe that the UK should lead the European Union without a deal with Brussels. Joseph Hyatt, Indus News, London.